would ever think such a state-of-the-art, high-tech facility would be hiding in the rolling hills of the Wisconsin Dairy Country? Through the metropolis of Iola, population 667, turn right at the mailbox, left at the cow, and you're there. The SNS Factory Farm, where they grow some of the most cutting-edge speed technology in the world. SNS stands for Speed and Speed, not really. It stands for Smith and Smith, Mr. and Mrs., who started building parts to race with over 50 years ago. George had a simple philosophy, make all motorcycles go faster. Boy, did he. He made them go very fast. George set the first land speed record in 1954, topping 152 miles an hour. Speed is what they produce with technology designed to make history and rewrite record books. SNS loves a good challenge. The 145 Tribute, and last year it was the 124 VFI Challenge. A huge success with some crazy bad machines in the end. This year, after much deliberation and a couple of fist fights, it was decided it's going to be retro with a shovel head engine. Welcome to the Old School Shovel Tour. Five of the baddest builders on the scene each receive a brand spanking new 93 inch shovel head engine and the challenge to build the coolest thing they can think of. It's a diverse group of masters. Who knows how radical they'll get? Of course, what better way to test their creations than head to head in research and development department. Paul Cox Racing Chica. How cool is that? Big Mike Grouse and Big Mike Choppers from Bend, Oregon. Mike's manufacturing crew turns out six to seven bikes a day. It was a real treat to get to design a one-off. If he wasn't a bike builder, Mike would be a TV host. He's funny, does great wheelies, and builds a snazzy bike really fast. The James Dean of Japan. Some say Chica's bikes are like trips to other worlds. Only eight to 10 Lucky Joes a year get to ride their own tailor-made Chica Custom a man of few words and many motorcycles. Kevin Alsop was old school when old school was new school. Big Bear Choppers out of Big Bear, California, he designed some sick one-offs and then designs them as kits. It's an idea that's really caught on. Kano Sasaki and Paul Cox out of Brooklyn carry on the Indian Larry legacy completing the bike that Larry had committed to build shortly before his tragic death. Blending Larry's vision and their own twisted finesse cooked up an awesome machine. Jesse Rook of Rook Customs out of Huntington Beach, California is the visionary hipster that's made his presence felt in a big way. He first made noise with an innovative Schwinn type design that caught everyone's eye. He builds cool bikes and mosquitoes find him quite tasty. The rules for the old school shovel tour are pretty simple. First you had to start out with an unmodified 93 cubic inch SNS shovel head style engine. You had to build the bike for under $20,000, not including paint, and it had to be a Kickstarter, because without a Kickstarter it can't be old school. Finally, you had to take a 120 mile shakedown ride from our customer support center in La Crosse, Wisconsin to the track in Earlville, Iowa. Now one of the last points that was not an official rule but was certainly one of the most exciting events during the old school shovel tour was the head-to-head -head drag racing that took place between the builders at the quarter mile drag strip in Earlville, Iowa. It was a lot of fun to watch. Beautiful Daytona Beach, known for its expanse of pristine sand and the heavenly creatures that are drawn to it. Lazy days in the land of 80 degrees and bright sunshine. Unless you have an SNS photo shoot for American Iron Magazine to do. 50 degrees, raining off and on. Nice. <laughs> this is the first time the boys were all in the same place, and it was the first time everybody got to see each other's work. Checking each other out, and the bikes proved to be interesting to say the least. Looking warm for the camera proved a challenge in itself, but everybody tried to keep a good attitude. After all, it was the first time the crew had got to celebrate their work and to do a little posturing. No more talk, no more bragging. The put up to the shut up was sitting right in front of them. Cool, literal.
close-up, the bikes are as varied and unique as the guys building them. Each builder's take on old school coming from a completely different planet. The minimalist chopper approach of Kevin Allsap, beautiful and clean, ape hangers, sissy bar, and a rigid frame, definitely old school. Big Mike's entry, a classic chopper, 1960s style. And Chica's elegant, sleeked out dragon. The exquisite metal sculpture compact lines of the Indian Larry bike. And of course, the innovative fresh curves of Rook's original homage to the bicycle, the style that propelled him into the spotlight. SNS was delighted and inspired by all of these masterpieces. Each of the bikes was fantastic, from Chica's traditional lines to Jesse's bicycle look, to Big Mike's raw power, Kevin Alsop's real traditional old school style chopper with the suicide shift. But I gotta say, uh, for sentimental reasons, the Indian Larry tribute bike is the one that caught my heart. I think that Paul and Kino did a great job memorializing Indian Larry. We were saddened to see his passing. I know that he was excited about the project, and I know that he's looking down on their work and he's very, very proud of them. Usually, getting to ride is the big payoff, especially in a place like Daytona. But today, the riding was not so dreamy. The boys found themselves wishing these horses had heaters. Shots been got. Now it's time to get ready for the big unveiling and burnout tonight at the Broken Spoke Saloon. Jesse brought his famous chop shop bike, but the cold weather seems to be making it just a little temperamental. After a push, and a second, and a third. He's cute. Finally, a push from Big Mike and Kevin. The rook winds up in the truck. <laughs> Loading Jesse's bike into the trailer, Kevin and Mike can't resist pulling his leg with some good-natured ribbing. Somebody get two, two of his bikes on film getting pushed. <laughs> At the broken spoke, the rain just keeps coming and the temperature keeps falling. Not exactly the weather we ordered up. No one's at the usually packed spoke and the unveiling's only a couple of hours away. We just hope for a miracle and a rowdy crowd of people. Luckily, we believe in miracles and the rowdy crowd shows up to see these great builders and their amazing creations. First up, Kevin Olson, big bear chopper. He lines it up, gets some help holding it, wicks the throttle, and breaks that tire loose and smokes the place out to the delight of all those cold people. Next up, Big Mike, Big Mike Chop, the burnout Mike. Mike slides into place, 
He rolls the throttle, and bam, he flies out of the pingo. Repositioning, he goes for it again. This time, he breaks it loose through a signature smokeout, BMC style. Riding up to the line on this green dragon, the mystical man of hip, Chica of Chica Custom Chocolate. Burnouts are not Chica's favorite thing, so he decided to be cool instead of burned out. Next up, the sentimental favorites, Paul Cox and Kano of the Indian Larry Legacy. Paul rides like a man with a mission and goes right to it and flies out of the pingle. He gets set back up and this time he rips it loose and tries to redefine the word burnout. Just when you thought it was done, he gives it another burst and bam, the smoke fills the air so thick you can't see your hand in front of your face. Awesome. That isn't cool. I don't know what is. Finally, Jesse Rook of Jesse Rook Customs rolls in, only to find no pingle. He's pissed. There goes his big chance to shut Big Mike up, at least for now. All the bikes ran. They looked fantastic. Now, it's on to Wisconsin and the drag strip. Our all-stars show up at the SNS factory in the rolling farmland of Wisconsin, Iowa, population 667. They check out their bikes after a long journey from Daytona. Things look great, except for a broken foot peg on Big Mike's chopper. Did you bring me a new one? No, but it was... <laughs> This is a classified area. As you can see, no cameras. Very classified, top secret, you know. We don't want, you know, anybody to know what's going on in there. I forgot what I've seen already. Good. Yeah. I know all I can remember is cookies. 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 That was in the car right The cookies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean we'll have the trailer for emergency. We're gonna run. I need those two by fours for you from that. Paul Cox has a surprise in store, announcing his new 12-week-old baby. He's one proud papa. Yeah, look at that camera and tell me what you got going on, Paul. That's my kid. <laughs> How old is it? <laughs> what? How old is it? Uh, about 12 weeks. 12 no, weeks this old. was this was uh, like two weeks ago. Pretty psyched. Congratulations. Did you plan on it or was it a surprise? Um, it's something that we weren't avoiding, but with all my running around and on the road, I guess I was just home at the right time. So yeah. I was yeah. home. <laughs> in the middle of just whatever typical day shit was going, and she says, oh, how's it going? I go, oh, just nuts, what's going on? I uh, just like, <laughs> you know, I'm just all over the place right now. It's just crazy. And she goes, are you ready for it to get a little crazier? <laughs> oh no, that stops you in your tracks. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but then, and then I just went back to the house, so she told me, and I go back to the house, right? and we're just kind of sitting there looking at each other like just laughing, you know. Time for fueling up for a ride to an actual old schoolhouse for some more photography and a chance to test all the bikes on the road before this weekend's 130 mile run to the drag strip. And the fix The first rule for the build was having a functioning kickstart. This was Jesse's first kickstart and it didn't go quite so smooth. Luckily, his big bro Mike was there to lend a hand and a kick.
Help comes from the 918, a little massaging, a squirt, and a prime kick. Jesse's bike kicks over and starts purring. It's a beautiful thing. Unlike Daytona, the weather could not be more perfect. Crystal clear skies, 72 degrees, life is good. The posse pulls out of the SNS ranch and heads for the hills. People build bikes for all kinds of reasons, but in the end, this is what it all comes down to, the ride. The wind in your face and rolling on the throttle. There's nothing like it. All the bikes are running great and it seems like perfection is the word for the day.